Hello, I'm Richard from Tyne Valley Aquatics and in this video I'm going to show you the difference between our three native species of newts. The smallest of British newts is called the palmate newt. It's pretty difficult to tell the difference between male and female. So here are the differences. The main differences between male and female palmate newt are the male has big heavily webbed feet, often very black. The females aren't webbed very much at all and are quite skinny. The colour of the male and female palmate newt are pretty much the same. Uh, the only other real obvious difference is their tails. The female's tail is just like an ordinary newt tail, just goes to a point. And the male's tail, it cuts off short and then there's like almost like a little hair out the end. It's, it's just a funny shaped thing. The difference between the male and female smooth newt is more pronounced. The male has a small crest on its back, uh, orange belly, big spots on, big black spots. And the female is a dull brown colour with a yellowy orangey belly. The great crested newt is the largest and also the rarest of our native newts. Can grow five to six inches and be very chunky, you know, as thick as your thumb. Uh, the difference between male and female is pronounced. The male has a massive crest and the female doesn't at all. The female tends to be longer than the male, but the males are often chunkier towards the front end. All the newts in this video were found in one pond. Uh, it's a pond I was actually cleaning out. Uh, it's very unusual to find all three types in the same pond because normally the grey crested, with it being the larger, more aggressive newt, it tends to eat the smaller newts' larvae. And you tend not to find many smaller newts in a pond that's populated by a lot of grey crested. All newts are protected in our country and you can encourage them to hang around your pond by putting log piles, piles of stone covered with soil, you know, compost heaps that you don't actually dig the compost out of. They're all great places for newts to hide. If you want to have a lot of newts in your pond, you best not to have fish because the fish will eat the newt's eggs and also the newt larvae. When trying to encourage newts to breed in your pond, for the smaller two species, the palmate and the smooth newt, if you use Elodia crisper, they will lay the eggs underneath the leaf and curl the leaf over. The best plant that I've found to encourage great crested newts to breed in your pond is Water Forget-Me-Not, Myosotis palustris. It's got quite a big leaf, but it's quite a big newt. The newts can't lay their eggs on little leaves, so they tend to favour this plant above all others. The great crested lay their eggs in exactly the same way as the other two species, i.e. they'll turn upside down, lay the egg underneath the leaf, and then bend the leaf over to protect the egg. The best depth for newts, um, the palmate newt really doesn't matter, they'll lay in anything, you know, four to six inches deep. I've got a lot of uh, containers outside here where I grow plants and the palmates lay in them, they'll, they'll often lay in two or three inches of water. Um, so they do tend to favour shallower water, you tend to find them up on the hilltops and so on. 
uh, where there's a lot of shallow peat bogs. It's, for some reason, they seem to favour peaty water. The smooth newt, again, doesn't need very deep water, but like the palmate, does require quite a few plants in the pond in order to spawn successfully. Grey crested newts do favour deeper ponds than the other two species of newt, and really it wants to be a minimum of 18 inches to 2 feet deep. Quite well planted to encourage great crested newts. If you think you may have newts in your pond, the best time to have a look for them is on a night. That's when they do most of the feeding, that's when they're most active, because during the day the predators tend to have them running for cover. When you're looking for newts in your pond on a night, it's best to use a quite a powerful torch. I actually use a million candle power lamp that I use for, for shooting. Um, it's nice and bright. And providing your water's clear, you'll be astounded at how many newts you find if you've got a pond that's suitable for them.